how to add an action button on GoDaddy website builder. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to add an action button to your website on your GoDaddy website builder. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing first, you're going to visit here GoDaddy, then you are going to simply to uh, set up your website here. Make sure that you have created correctly a website within the platform. Then you are going to see here the dashboard. Once you are here, you're going to select my product here. As you can see, we have the account ready. So then we are going to see the businesses that we own. We are going to select the website. Then we are going to wait for it until it will load up here the dashboard. Once again, you are on the dashboard. Now we are going to see the website that we have. We are going to select your website. Here we have some choices to make or some uh, tasks to get. You can go ahead and click on any of these tasks. It will open up here the um, website editor. If you find a problem setting up your website or seeing it, you're going to select your not now. As you can see here, we have the website. We have the editor. Uh, or the site navigation at the right side. So we are going simply to add a button. How we can add a button, we are going to select, for example, here a section. We are going to click on section, or you can go ahead here and place a button. So for example, here we are going to the website. You can go ahead right there and add a button. So we are going to click on add section. Then we are going to Click on general about here we have buttons so we are going to click on buttons display a list of buttons so now it will add up here the buttons and as you can see each button is uh, very customizable you can go ahead and modify the button of it you can go ahead and put it like that so there is some uh, sections that contain uh, buttons or you can go ahead and modify them by adding some features but it is not that a free, uh, free access. So you are going to select here the button, a link to here, you are going to put the action to, for example, you are going to take it to a page, a website URL, a phone number, email, or a product. For example, if it is a page, you're going to set up, for example, for the shop, and you are going to put it here, the name of it here, shop. So here we have it. Then we are going to click on done. So whenever you are going to click on the shop button here, it will take you to the shop section of yours. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.